Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about the benefits of work and being worthy of your wages. I'm writing a book right now about work and the benefits of work and one of the things that's interesting that keeps coming up is in talking with people and researching this more and more, it's how many people think that by mere virtue of existing at a place of work for a certain amount of time that they deserve a higher wage. Now, I believe people do deserve higher wages, but in correlation with their improvement, with their bettering of themselves. Just because you've worked somewhere for 10 years doesn't mean you've improved any. You might have maxed out at that first year and you've been repeating that first year for a decade now. And this is one of those things where in life you need to constantly be improving, not for any wage, not for a raise, not for anything like that. But because that's what life is, is growth and improvement unless you're dying. And view yourself as a business. Whether you go work for somebody else or you have your own business, view yourself as your personal business and conduct yourself that way. You will handle things differently. You'll treat work differently. You'll approach it differently. You'll look at it as something you're doing in honor to God. That you're doing whatever you do unto the Lord instead of doing it merely for a wage, merely because you're a wage slave. That's no way to live. And then people are complaining about, well, robots, you know, they're taking jobs. Who cares? That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. People are bemoaning this as if it's some negative, awful thing that robots are taking menial, entry-level jobs that people shouldn't be having to do in the first place. That frees these people up to better themselves. Now, I know many people will say, and this is a very diminishing, nasty way of approaching those people, but, well, you know, maybe that's the best they could do. No, I don't believe that. The best somebody can do is bring food to a table. Now, of course, being a waitress is, has more than that, but there are robots out there in regular, inexpensive restaurants that bring the food to the table and take the plates away. They bring the drinks to the table, they take them away. That's already currently now in these cheap, inexpensive restaurants. When I'm talking about high-end restaurants, these are just regular restaurants. For those little tasks, why would a waitress be involved? She brings a personality or he brings the personality that gives that person a better experience. But there's some things that are just minimal and don't require a human involved. I don't want humans going through life just existing, doing needless tasks simply to get a paycheck. That's not the, what we're here to exist and just merely do things so we can survive and get by another day. That's not life. That's not living to the glory of God. You weren't created and put here for that kind of mediocrity. Now, I understand many people will settle for that. And many people, unfortunately, have been told that's the best they can do. Well, you know, I didn't go to college. Doesn't matter. Plenty of people didn't go to college and they're rich. Plenty of people did go to college and they're broke and they're poor. College has nothing to do with anything. Now, it may limit you as far as certain jobs. Who cares? Move on. Go to something better. There is something good available for you to do and to grow into. Something that will challenge you. Doing the same thing every day is not going to challenge you. Something that brings you no growth is not challenging you. And also, if it's bringing you no growth, how can you expect to raise and pay? You know, as a few years back, all these restaurant workers were demanding more wages, demanding higher wages. And I understand they're getting paid very little. Of course, those jobs are not meant to be careers in many cases. They're made for entry level. A lot of times for teenagers, I got my start working and I worked at a produce place for a little while, and then, then I went into fast food for many years as a teenager, because that's kind of what teenagers do, because it doesn't take any skills, any abilities. Pretty much anybody off the street can learn it, if, as long as they're disciplined, and do it. But there's more available to you. You don't want to get stuck in that trap of just being enough to get by for the next day, enough to pay your bills. You don't want to hold yourself that low standard. Something where you're never challenged, where it's the same thing day in and day out. There's no potential for growth. There's no 
challenge that you have to overcome. There's just stagnation. And that's what many people are deciding. All this pandemic stuff and all these different changes in the world have caused a lot of people to not go back to their jobs because they realize this is nothing. The only reason I was going in there was to get a paycheck. It was making me miserable. I wasn't fulfilled in it. And there was zero growth. It was just a rut, a rut of mediocrity. And so this has caused wages to rise in some cases because there's less people out there even looking for a job. Now, whether you're working for somebody else or you own your own business, this affects you because if you own a business, you have to pay a higher wage, which is a good thing. But one of the negative consequences, of course, is that if everybody's paying higher wages, then everything costs more to produce, which means everything will eventually get a higher price. There is some hindrance of that because of demand and competition, which could keep prices fairly stable. But there are all kinds of other things that go into that and lead to kind of a, a net neutral. But for you as an individual, whether you're an employee or an employer, you need to be growing each and every day. You don't need to be stuck in these time-wasting jobs that the only reason you go to them is for a wage. You're not going to them because you enjoy them. You're not going to them because they make you happy. You're not going to them because you enjoy the challenge each day. It is simply the only reason you go there and you dread going there, but the only reason you go there is for a paycheck. This does not mean that you can't work a job that maybe pays little. There are many people, teachers and many people who go work jobs that don't pay a whole lot, but they enjoy it. There's a challenge, there's new things each day and it is enjoyable to them. Those jobs are out there if you wanna work for someone else, they're out there. And I would suggest even that there are businesses out there that would fill that need in your life, bring you in a lot more money and you'd be joyful each and every day as you went to your place of work, as you went into your business and did the things you wanted to do. That could be anything. I don't know what it is, it depends on you, but you can seek the Lord and he'll give you wisdom on that for you. It could be something you're good at. It could be something that you've always wanted to do, but you're afraid to do. Maybe fear has held you back. Maybe that desire for that paycheck has kept you in that position and not going with what you really know you should be doing. These are all things you have to answer within your own heart, prayerfully seeking God's wisdom and receiving it and then acting on it. But if you want to be worth more in the marketplace, you want to have a higher wage, maybe you're happy with your job, but you would just like to get paid more, make sure that you are bringing more value in your position, that you're doing more, that you're bringing about more productivity, that you earn more for the company, that your work is worth more. Don't let people talk you into just getting by, just doing enough to not get fired, just doing enough to live to another day. Excel, do the best, work hard if you have to. Do more, become more, be more. And you may say, well, I've done that and my place of employment is not recognizing that, not giving me a better wage. Then go find someone who will because I guarantee you there are people out there who will. If you really are that person who's improved, really are that person who is more valuable than you're currently being paid, then the market will absolutely pay you more. There's someone out there who will value, who will treasure you, who will lift you up and expect the best of you and expect more of you, and you will rise to that level and improve even from there. I know it can seem nice on the surface to go work somewhere where they don't expect much from you and you're just there to get a paycheck, but that is diminishing you, that's demeaning to you as, as a human being created in God's image and likeness. You should want a place that challenges you, want a place that expects more from you, want a place that expects that you're going to perform at even higher levels. They don't expect you to stagnate. They don't expect you to do the bare minimum to get by. They believe in you. They know you have great ability within you and they draw that out of you. 
That, my friend, is a place to work at if you're going to work for someone else. And that is a place to, if you're going to have a business, that you want to treat people like that. So when they come into your place of work and they work for you, they expect that they're going to be lifted up, that they're going to have high demands placed on them, but they're going to be rewarded for it financially. They're going to be rewarded for it with appreciation, true appreciation and constant daily growth. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.